Hello, welcome to SUNY ESF. My name is Beth Menard and I'm the Associate Registrar. Today I'm going to walk you through what you need to know about registration and getting your semester off to a great start. You are registered for the classes that you see on your schedule, but it's your responsibility to make any changes that you need to finalize your schedule for this semester. You do that on MySlice, and MySlice is a Syracuse University registration system. Since you can take classes at Syracuse University, we have you register on one system to make it easier for you. That's where you go to view your schedule or make any schedule adjustments. To get to MySlice, you can either go to the ESF Registrar's webpage and you'll see a link, or you can simply search for it. You must discuss changes with your advisor, make sure sections are open, and then go to MySlice to make those changes. Please make your changes and then submit the form to your advisor by email. The electronic registration form can then be forwarded by your advisor after approved to the registrar's office. You do not need advisor approval if you're just switching sections of a class. I strongly recommend that you swap but don't drop if you are just switching sections. This will allow you to keep the seat that you have in case there's an issue with the one that you're trying to add. Seats can go very quickly and the section that you think is open might be full by the time you go to finalize your registration or there may be a time conflict you didn't realize and if you had dropped that section someone else may have picked up your seat and then you won't have one. You can find what's being offered in terms of class times, room numbers, prerequisites, and instructor names on the ESF Registrar's webpage. Then you go to My Slice to search to see if there's space in the class and actually complete your registration. Your curriculum plan sheet will show you how many transfer credits you've received, what classes they transferred for, and any classes that you are already registered for. It's also your roadmap to graduation. During the fall, we will be transitioning to a new audit system called Degree Works, and we ask for your patience during this time of transition. You can view your audit sheet in your ESF student portal. Please keep in mind that any changes that you make to your schedule in MySlice will not appear on your plan sheet until the next day. Each curriculum plan sheet is a little different, but this gives you an idea of what it's going to look like to keep track of what you need as you progress towards graduation. And again, you can see this at any point in the student portal. Some of the programs have different note sections, so you want to make sure that you really pay attention to those carefully, and those will be carried over into the new audit system. When you go to MySlice, this is what your login page will look like. You can view your holds, enroll in a class, view your future enrollment dates, view your schedule, and do a variety of other things. You can also search for classes on here if you want to just see if a class is open without actually going to enroll in it. There are two ways that you can enter a class into MySlice. The first is to go to the ESF Schedule Classes and copy the five digit code and paste it into the first box that you see here and click enter. The second is to click the search box and look for the class. If you click the search box, this page will appear. You can enter the three digit course prefix such as EFB, FCH, EST in the first box and then the course number in the second box, 101, 120, whatever the course number is. And either hit enter or there is a search button down at the bottom of the screen. One feature on this screen to keep in mind is you'll see a checkbox that says show open classes only. If you go to the ESF schedule of classes and see that a class is being offered, but then search for it here on MySlice and you don't see it, uncheck that box and click search again because it's possible that the course is already full. Sometimes, in particular from Syracuse University classes, you may be given a permission number, and here's the box where you would enter that number. Once you search for a class, you will see the status on this screen. The green means it's open, the blue box means it's closed, and the yellow triangle means it's a wait list. 
please keep in mind that the ESF does not use the waitlist feature on my slice. It's very important that you complete all the steps for registration. One common mistake that students make is they think because the classes are in their shopping cart, they're registered. You must complete all of the steps. Think of it like online shopping. If you don't check out, then nothing arrives in the mail. So make sure that you do step two of three, and then you actually finish enrolling. And once you click finish enrolling, you will get a message whether or not you were actually registered for the classes. You may get error messages at this point saying that the class is full or there's a time conflict. So you wanna make sure you pay attention to whether or not the status is registered. It's very important that you're aware of the deadlines on the academic calendar and they are posted on the registrar's webpage and you will also receive email reminders from the registrar's office to your syr.edu email. It's very important that you check that email because that is the official communication that we will use to remind you of very important deadlines. The last day to add a class is August 31st. The last day to drop a class is September 18th. The last day to withdraw with a grade of W is October 23rd. And the last day to withdraw with a W or a WF is November 20th. The W or the WF withdrawal do not impact your grade point average. So if you decide to withdraw from a class instead of receiving a possible failing grade, then it will not impact your GPA. You must have 12 credit hours or more to be considered full time. And sometimes there are legitimate schedule conflicts. You cannot override those on my slice, but the registrar's office can. If you have permission from both instructors, then send the registrar's office an email and we will gladly override the time conflict and register you for the classes. During your time at ESF, you may have registration holds for a variety of reasons. And I earlier showed you how to see those on my slice. You wanna make sure that all of your holds are resolved so that you can actually register for classes. If you receive when you're registering an available seats reserved error message, that means the class looked open when you went to register for it, but you get this error message. SU will reserve seats in their classes for their students in that major. You can contact the department office at SU and ask them for permission number. If you get that message for ESF classes, you can contact the instructor. Same goes for courses requiring permission at ESF. If you see on the ESF schedule of classes you need permission from the instructor, contact them and ask them to email the registrar's office and then we will register you. For SU, again, contact the department office that offers the class and they may be able to give you a permission number that you can enter on MySlice. Instructors at SU do not have permission numbers, so contact the department office. It's critical that you check your transfer credits on your curriculum plan sheet very carefully. If you took any advanced placement courses, international baccalaureate courses, college credits, you wanna make sure you've received all the credit you're eligible for, and you wanna do it sooner rather than later because you don't wanna take a class that you should have credit for. So what you wanna do is check your plan sheet, and if you have any questions about that, contact the admissions office at esfinfo at esf.edu. It is critical that you check your schedule after you complete your registration to make sure everything went through correctly and more importantly even on the first day of classes because we may have made last minute room changes. The registrar's office provides you with a variety of services. We have petition forms for transfer credits that you may take after you're enrolled here at another college that the admissions office wasn't able to give you credit for. We have other petitions if you want to use a class, an ESF class to fulfill a requirement that it doesn't normally fulfill. Lots of reasons that you would use a petition form. Those are all available online on our website in fillable PDFs. If you need to send a transcript somewhere, you can do a transcript request. We have those forms also on our website. Once you get closer to graduation, we would provide you with graduation checks to make sure that you've met all of your requirements. And it is also my responsibility to make sure everything matches up correctly on your curriculum plan sheet. Not everything will auto match. So I would ask for your patience, especially during this semester when we're transitioning to a new system, that if you're looking at the old plan sheet, 
it may not match up very quickly because I have to match them all manually, as I said. So please be patient. If we get halfway through the semester, a little bit later, and things aren't matched up, please send an email, give us a call. I'll let you know why they aren't matched. It may be that you may need permission from your advisor to get something matched up on your plan sheet. We also process your change of major forms, and if you need enrollment certification for health, insu health insurance or student loan deferments, and Leslie, who's our registrar, is our Veterans Benefits Coordinator. There's a lot of information on our website for veterans. If you served, we certainly thank you for your service. And if you're using your parents' benefits, you can go to the same website because there's a form there that you have to fill out every semester to let her know that you're going to use your benefits. And then we are also responsible for the final exam schedule. The Family Education Right to Privacy Act protects your rights as a student. You can give your parents or another person access to review your record through proxies in the ESF student portal. You also have the right to review your record, the right to obtain copies of your records, although we will not give you copies of other college or other high school transcripts, the right to seek to amend those records. If you seek to have your records amended because you think there was an error and you were not satisfied with that, then you can have the right to file a complaint with the Department of Education, and there's a lot of information about FERPA on the ESF Registrar's webpage. We will give out information on students called directory information, and you can see listed there on your screen what that information is. You can also file with us a prevent to disclose directory information. However, you should be careful about this because once you submit that form, it stays with you, and after you graduate, we will not verify that you attended for future employers or graduate schools. If you decide to change your major at any time through August 31st, you can contact the admissions office at esfinfo at esf.edu, and they will help you change your major. After August 31st, you will go to the ESF Registrar's webpage, and there's a change of major form with several signatures that you'll need to get. You may have received an email from the admissions office reminding you of missing materials, either your final college or final high school transcript. It's your responsibility to make sure that those transcripts are sent and received. If you have final college transcripts that are not received, any in-progress credit will be removed from your curriculum plan sheet, and once the transcript is received, you'll have to petition to have that returned to your plan sheet. We also must have proof of graduation on file for all students, and we will place a registration hold for spring 2021 on your record if we do not have proof of high school graduation. As I said before, transfer credit questions must go to the admissions office at esfinfo at esf.edu through August 31st. After that, you will need to discuss with your advisor. Your math registration was done based on the requirement for your major and your math placement exam. Please do not change your registration without talking to your advisor. You should update your local address, phone number, and your expected graduation date on the ESF student portal. I hope you found this presentation helpful in getting you ready to finalize your schedule for this semester. We wish you luck and we look forward to working with you during your time here at ESF. Please call our office at 315-470-6655 or email registrar at esf.edu. Our office is located in 111 Bray Hall but due to social distancing guidelines, we will be limiting the number of students we can see in the office at any time. So it is best if you give us a call or send us an email and we'll help you in any way we can. Take care and enjoy your time here at ESF.